There are 13 derivatives you must know before the AP Calculus exam. And come back to this video as often as you need until you know each and every one. And also feel free to comment below about any derivatives you think I may be missing. All right, let's get to the first one, the tried and true power rule. That would be n times x to the power of n minus 1. The next derivative you need to know is the derivative of all six trig functions. The derivative of sine of x is cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Don't forget that negative symbol. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. The derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. The derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. And the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. One tip to remind you of is notice that all of the co-functions such as cosine, cosecant, and cotangent, those deriv derivatives are going to be negative. So keep that in mind. And then the sine, the tangent, and the secant derivatives are all positive. That little tip may help you. All right, the next two you need to know is the derivative of natural log of x is 1 divided by x. The derivative of e to the x is my favorite. That does not change. It is e to the x. Two more. The derivative of a to the x is a to the x times the natural log of a. These two that you see on the screen now, these are often two that students forget. The derivative of log base a of x is 1 divided by x times ln a in the denominator. Then there are six inverse trig functions, but I will give you a little secret here. The two that are most often asked on the AP exam are arc sine and arc tangent, so make sure to know these two. The derivative of arc sine of x is 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared, and the derivative of arc tangent x does not have a square root, and we switch to positive. 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. So what if in all of these functions you have more than just an x? In that case, you do need to use the chain rule. So if you have anything other than an x, I'm going to call that u. And so the derivatives of these six trig functions are very similar, but now you have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of sine u is no longer just cosine u, but it would be cosine u times u prime. So know all of these derivatives on the screen. Remember that after you take the derivative, you just need to multiply by the chain rule. And it looks like one is missing, so if I move my head there, don't forget the u prime after secant u tangent u. Likewise, with the other derivatives that I went over, such as the derivative of natural log of u, it would now be 1 over u times u prime. And if you put those together, it's an easy way to think of it as u prime over u. The derivative of e to the u is now e to the u, but then we have to do that chain rule and multiply by the derivative of u. Likewise, the derivative of a to the u is now a to the u times natural log of a times u prime, and the derivative of log base a of u is 1 over u times the natural log of a, and then make sure to multiply by that u prime. And remember, you can put that u prime in the numerator to have u prime over u times natural log of a. So just don't forget these chain rules. Again, the two inverse trig functions you want to make sure the, to know the derivative of are arc sine, and that would be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times u prime, or you can put that u prime in the numerator. And likewise, the derivative of arc tangent of u would simplify to u prime over 1 plus u squared. And that is it. All 13 derivatives you need to know before the AP calculus exam. And also in the description below, I've linked my eight review videos that are very helpful to help you prepare for the AP calculus exam. Good luck, everybody.